solidity tutorials solidity and web3 tutorials do it yourself in this video i'm going to talk to you about the type of use cases that we will implement to understand the world of solidity and web3 js we are going to be writing smart contract to execute these use cases there are three use cases that we'll be looking at so let's talk about those use cases. Number one is the bank account. So you're gonna create a bank using smart contract wherein you can execute account transactions. So you have a bank account, number one, and you can record transactions. And in this case, the transactions are only gonna be coming in to the account. You're not worrying about withdrawals at this point in time. So for example, $100 from Jeff, $50 from Bill, $150 from Don, you should be able to record, view, and see the balances of the transactions coming into the account. For bank account number two, the same set of transactions or different set of transactions should be recorded. And then bank account number three. So for every one person who is an account holder, you should be able to spin up a new account and manage the transactions. This is what we are gonna do using Solidity program, which is gonna write the smart contract. And we are gonna deploy the smart contract on the Ethereum, Ethereum network. We are going to use the test networks. We're not going to be using the mainnet for deployment. The second use case would deal with crypto transactions. So look at the change here. Instead of having a bank account in the previous one, we'll replace it with crypto wallets. And then instead of dollar values over here, we are going to replace it in the second use case to the way and Ethereum cryptos. So instead of bank accounts, we'll have crypto wallets and we will also add payables and withdrawals functionality, withdrawals functionality from the crypto wallet. Again, let's take a look. This is the bank account use case wherein you have these functions on a smart contract using dollars, not actual dollars, obviously. And then in the second use case, these bank accounts are gonna be replaced by crypto wallets. And then you have Jeff, Bill, and Dan now doing transactions in cryptocurrencies. So Way, GUI, ETH are all form of forms of cryptos in Ether. So there is another video, which I'm gonna push the link in the video description section, describing around about the Way, GUI, and different uh, denominations of an ether. And then you also have payables and withdrawals, which we did not have on, uh, on the previous one. So those are two different things, but both of them will be implemented as smart contracts and be pushed to the Ethereum we are gonna use currently. So using MetaMask. And this, these both use cases, We'll implement it in Web3.js and see the difference, all right? So both of these use cases, we are gonna do online on set of videos coming uh, as a series, and we are gonna be following this. Use case number three is gonna be a homework assignment, which you are gonna do by yourself. In this, the idea is to create a smart contract to sell 1,000 items of for 20, 10 GUI each. So the, basically, you create a smart contract and you put 1,000 items as a starting package and then sell this 1,000 items. As and when these 1,000 items are being sold, the crypto balance is going to increase and these items will decrease. Basically, imagine you have, an, you have a store and you, you know, sell 1,000 items. And we will do it for Crypto Wallet 2, Crypto Wallet 3, wherein they can be the buyers from this smart contract. So 
it's a it's a it's a very interesting thing which is going to mimic the use case number two but you are going to implement it by yourself as a homework assignment and that is how you're going to learn solidity and web3 tutorials going forward next on the list is this diagram all of us have seen how we have explained the different IDEs like Infura, Ripple IT, and Remix Ethereum in our previous video on getting started with Solidity and Web3. If not, take a, the, take a look at the video description link and go look at it. So in the first thing, we are gonna be focusing on Solidity and we are gonna get rid of everything except Remix. Look at that. We're gonna get rid of everything so to start with, to learn Solidity smart contract, smart contract on Solidity platform, we are going to be using remix.ethereum.org. And from there, we will start our journey to learn smart contracts. Let's do it together. That's why we have this Solidity do-it-yourself tutorials so that you can learn using an example and use cases for smart contract looking forward.